All right, guys, let's talk about the main event at UFC 238 on Saturday in Chicago, Illinois. We have a vacant title up for grabs in the UFC Bantamweight division. So it's going to be Marlon Marais, the number one contender, facing Henry Cejudo, the UFC flyweight champion, who's moving up. That title was relinquished by TJ Dillashaw earlier this year. Guys, the odds are pretty even here, man. Yeah. Uh, Marias minus 125, Cejudo minus 105. So they're both a minus. When it's that close, you still have to give up the juice. But technically, Cejudo's the underdog, even though you see a minus next year, uh, next to his name. So let's start things off with the fight analyst, Dan Tom. Dan, what do you like in this one? I, I agree with those lines. It should be fairly close. I was, I was curious if they were going to give Cejudo the respect or not, kind of coming into this thing. But clearly, the public and the odds makers are. Uh, you know, Cejudo, you beat the best in the world, granted by split decision. And then you beat TJ Dillashaw, one of the pound for pound best, uh, Bantamweight Kingpin, one of the best Bantamweights. Uh, obviously, there are some weird caveats attached to certain performances. And you can, you know, perhaps have your own questions or opinions on the outcome. But you can't really argue that Cejudo is a, isn't a world class fighter. He's got, he packs the stopping power. Uh, will it come up to Bantamweight? He has fought at this division before. I'm going to be really curious. You know, Eddie Al uh, not Eddie Alvarez, Marlon Marais looks like Eddie Alvarez, kind of. And he kind of fights like him, too, in the sense that Marlon, he's not beyond getting hit, hurt early. Sure, he's a knockout artist. He's a great striker. But we've seen him rock early before. That said, he recovers really well. He stays on the clock. And his footwork alone to go with his underrated wrestling that he's been doing in New Jersey, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Ricardo Almeida. This guy's got layers that we don't often get to see, but they are there. That being said, he's going to have a real wrestling threat before him. He really hasn't faced that, except maybe Aljamain Sterling recently, and, and that fight didn't last long. Um, so I'm going to be curious to see how he holds up there, guys. But if he does, I do favor Marlon Marais here to win the exchanges. If there's one thing I've seen kind of consistent um, with Henry Cejudo, even the more improved iteration of Henry Cejudo, we've had different versions of him now. You know, he keeps getting better and better. But even the recent version, guys, I notice he doesn't check kicks very much, and he has been hit with... Uh, actually a good handful of head kicks in recent contests that oh if boy. not for his durability yeah, that's rise yeah real, i don't know how much i mean don't get me wrong yeah, sahudo's got a big head he's durable and like, this is a guy from a, that has a big head too i'm not hating sahudo you're a handsome man over there but i don't know if you want to gamble on that when it comes to head kicks from a guy like marais so give me marais i think that unless sahudo shows he can take him down early and often i think he can he can knock him out early i dare say well you nailed it i was also thinking the same thing i you know, the way Marais has been fighting, it's almost like we shouldn't even be doing a breakdown. He, he looks like he's just been almost untouchable ever since the first Asun Sal loss. Yeah. He's fighting so well. But, God, you know, to beat Demetrius Johnson and TJ Dillashaw back-to-back, -back, that says something about the improvements yes. of Henry Cejudo, a guy that came in to this sport, had, you know, some troubles on the regional scene with just making weight, uh, losing back-to-back -to, -back to Demetrius Johnson, Joseph Benavidez, going on the reality show and, you know, kind of – not having a good run there either. He lost the coaches challenge. Benavidez, his fighters, you know, performed. But he made that key connection with Kieran Fitzgibbons and a few other coaches. And he's just gone out to different parts of the world to sharpen up his game. Now he's led by Eric Albaracin, yeah. uh, arguably maybe up for coach of the year for 2019 for next year's award show. But yeah. uh, not to digress, if Henry Cejudo can wrestle and wrestle early, I like his chances more. But Henry has hands that he loves throwing, and that's where it can be dangerous. And that's where I, think I have to just side with the guy that's just been on fire, and it's Marlon Marias. So I'm taking Marlon Marias, and I think it could be done within a couple rounds. And I think either guy can beat each other within yeah. a couple rounds. Yeah. I will say that the longer the fight goes, something will tell me that the balance attack of wrestling and striking will favor Henry, uh, excuse me, Henry Cejudo. So, I mean, it should be this close. It should be that difficult yes. to make a choice yes. when a vacant title is up for grabs because you got two badasses going at it. Yeah, so sure. give me Marlon Marais, though, on record. Goes? You're right. It will come down to the wrestling, Henry Cejudo. But the thing that I want people to look at is Marlon Marais' timing. His timing's on point. And I have a feeling he's been watching a lot of video, and I think he's going to know when that shot's coming. And when it comes, it's going to be greeted with either a knee or a kick to that head. Marlon Marais is a guy that we've been covering for a very long time. And the unique thing about this guy is from day one, he said he was going to be a champion. And he's done everything to go in that direction. And even when he loses, the things he says and the things he, do, he does are all right. Everything he does. I think this is just his moment. The same way Henry Cejudo. It reminds me a lot of what Henry Cejudo did a year ago 
that was his moment. I feel like Marlon's on that same trajectory, and I think that's going to happen in this fight, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you got to tune in on Saturday because anything can and will happen. And how about if Henry Ward to get this W, he'd be a champ champ and an Olympic gold medalist. Wow. That, that would be Amazing. something. That would be historic. So you got to tune in to UFC 238 on Saturday.